Well, Paul Felder wants his teammate Sean Brady's nickname to be Brickhouse, and I'm not sure there's a more appropriate moniker for this guy than that. Have you ever seen a fighter respond better to a loss than Sean Brady did against Kelvin Gastelum after he was humbled by Bilal, remembered the name Muhammad? This man's wrestling and grappling and sheer physical strength is as scary a proposition, I would think, for any future welterweight contender. And now with momentum reacquired, we'll see if Sean Brady can take that requisite next step. Here we go with the former world title challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns, perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170, but he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best, and if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge, and he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Domingo Burns has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sean Brady! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. Great. All right, Gilbert Durinho Burns ready to go here early in this round. I don't have to tell most of you that his jiu-jitsu is world-class, but that says nothing of his striking that has improved leaps and bounds under the tutelage of Henry Hook. And Gilbert Burns believes in this matchup and many others in this welterweight division. If he just needs to kickbox with no takedowns, so be it. He's ready to knock your head off. Man, his jab is good. There it is. All right, so the boxer had a lot of confidence in his takedown defense. 0 for 1 now so far. Yeah, so how much does that discourage him? He thought that he would be able to defend more effectively, but that takedown was quite easy. Let's see how much it changes his approach if he gets back to his feet. Burns is in half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Excellent ground and pound there by Brickhouse Brady. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 
continuing to work out of the half guard. Are working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Less than two minutes now to go. This work, I'll stand this up and do some work. Good work from the top here by Sean Brady. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Brickhouse Brady's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, he's in trouble. Working for that submission. He's fighting hard, man. He's working hard to get the finish. Oh, he's getting submitted. Oh, he's oh, trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. In round one. All right, all right. You lost that round. And we're going to go back out there. We're going to win this with strength. Okay? Don't think about wrestling. Not even for one second. Jab, jab. All right, DC. Let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man. These guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over. Each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held. Ready, it wasn't tight. We thought Ready. the fight was over. But stay patient, stay calm, relax, and found his way out of that deep submission. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job blocking that punch. Oh, this could be it. He's going to get deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Burns pass attempt denied. Setting up another submission. What a tight arm bar. For him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Just out of range with that right hook. Pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission. Oh, this is right 
there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! Big right here. Oh, that's All big. Right. What a round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Oh, oh, shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. <laughs> Attempts the front kick there. Oh, so he misses with a hook there. There it was again, though. We thought he might go back to it. He did, but unable to connect it. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Work on this position. Burns looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Great shot from the top position. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so that opened up a cut. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. That is it! Wow! Wow! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by knockout and...